Have you seen ants on your plants? If you've seen ants on your plants, chances are you've got aphids. I want to uh, share a little information about aphids and ants and their relationship, a symbiotic relationship. Ants feed on an excretion called honeydew uh, with a high sugar content that the aphids put off. Ants actually milk the aphids by rubbing their stomachs with their antenna. Ants make sure their cattle stay well fed. If the host plant is depleted of nutrients, the ants will move them to a new food source. Ants will actually protect aphids from predators by destroying the eggs of the predators like lady beetles. They will carry the aphids to their nests in winter and move them to new host plants when the conditions are right. And they'll go so far as to tear off their wings to impede their ability to fly away. Aphids actually can have wings, although they generally don't. But aphids will reproduce without mating. They're all born females, and although some species lay eggs, many bear live young, skipping the eggs, egg step altogether, speeding up the process of reproduction. A single aphid can produce up to six billion descendants in one season. If you're in flower when an infestation is discovered, you can use hypochlorous acid, which is basically electrolyzed water to help control these guys. And if you're in veg, I'd recommend Monterey insect spray. So remember, if you see ants on your plants, there's a very, very good chance you've got aphids.